Imagine this. In January 1982, sea surface temperatures were considerably lower than they are today. Fast forward to January 2024, and the heat has risen dramatically. It's like comparing a lukewarm bath to a simmering hot tub. This isn't a comforting warm-up session, but a global crisis turning the heat up on our planet. How did we get here? There's one culprit we need to talk about. Cement. Yes, the very material that forms the backbone of our infrastructure is choking the planet with CO2 emissions. It's a complex process, but let's try to simplify it. The making of cement begins with limestone. Limestone is heated to very high temperatures in a kiln where it decomposes into a substance called clinker and CO2. The clinker is then ground into the cement we use in our buildings, but that CO2? It's released into the atmosphere, contributing to the greenhouse effect and global warming. You see, for every ton of cement produced, nearly a ton of CO2 is released. That's like driving your car non-stop for over 2,000 miles. Every single ton. Now imagine the millions of tons of cement produced worldwide every year. It's a staggering amount of CO2. So, what's the solution? Well, one potential alternative is clay. If we can replace even a fraction of the concrete components with clay, we could reduce CO2 emissions by one to three and a half percent. It may not sound like much, but every bit counts when we're fighting a crisis of this magnitude. In summary, our ocean temperatures are rising at alarming rates, and cement production is a significant contributor to this crisis. We can't ignore the fact that for every ton of cement we produce, we're also producing a ton of CO2. But there's hope. By replacing concrete with clay, we can start to turn the tide. This isn't just about saving our oceans, it's about saving our planet. We need to act now. The clock is ticking. Our future depends on it.